Why is turning off the tree so sad? I know it has to go off, but I wish it could stay on. Good morning. It's not morning. It's 1.10. <laughs> I woke up at 1 p.m. Oops. My eyes like won't stay open, but it's fine. I'm not feeling my best. I'm gonna take some medicine, get my day started. I'm gonna make some coffee because I shouldn't feel this tired at 1 11 p.m. Although I did go to bed at like 5 in the morning. I don't have too much energy right now, so I think we should talk after my coffee. Seems like a good idea. Not to brag, but I think I have my very first super fan. Someone texted me. I'm just kidding. It's my stepdad. Awesome vlog. Loved it. Thanks, Dennis. If you're watching this, hey. My coffee today is delicious as ever. I did the Death by Chocolate and Hazelnut flavors, a shot of each, and mix them very good. I was gonna make breakfast, but it's like literally 2 p.m. So I'm at this weird point where I'm like, do I make breakfast? Do I make lunch? Do I have brunch? Am I too lazy to do anything? Yeah. What's the plan for today? I have to run to CVS because I have some boring errands to run. I just need like a new toothbrush. I want an, an electronic one. We're three days behind on our advent calendar. We yeah. just, I got so lost in editing and the decorating of the tree in the house that like the advent calendar fell behind, not okay. So we'll do that today too. We're just gonna run to CBS first. And then when our mom comes home, we have a little bit more decorating to do. I don't know if you saw in the clip that I filmed this morning, the first clip before coffee, the dining room table. We have like a little Christmas village that goes on that table. So we'll be doing that, which is exciting. We'll see what the day brings, you know, not putting too much pressure on it. Just, holy fuck, I just, saved my entire coffee from spilling on my phone. I don't know if I saved it if it was a miracle, but it didn't spill and that's all that matters. <sighs> well. I just had to show you guys the tree in the daylight is our pride and joy. Let's pick out our favorite ornaments. Okay. Those are the obvious faves. Yeah. These are cute too. Wait, I like them all. But my favorite are my lighthouses. I actually got these at the place that I was working in North Carolina. It's called the Christmas House. Egyptian blown glass. Um, and this one is modeled after the Oak Island Lighthouse, which is really cool. It's an exclusive that you can only get there. Chris, what are your faves? Okay, classic. This has been my favorite ornament since we were little because I love candy. Second, snowflake because look how the light hits that baby. I mean, come on. Oh, I like the lighthouse too, but you did that one. Oh my God, just a little... So cute. Once the tree is up, everything else falls into place. I don't make the rules. Oh my god, these jeans are so tight. I like almost can't even sit in them. Yes. Okay, so at this point, are we what, three days late on our advent calendar? The last one we opened was day number two? We got a few to go. Yeah. Put my glasses on so I can't find number three. <gasps> Ah, it sounds like a really good moisturizer. Yeah. Mmm, I like Kiehl stuff because it's not fragranted. You know when like something's fragranted and like... Fragrance. Fragrant, fragranted, fra fragranced. I like that it doesn't have a smell. That usually means it's gonna dry my skin out. I love Kiehl's. This is a yeah. good advent calendar find. This was good. I've never like not liked any of their products, so this just gives me a reason to try more of them. And this you can use in the morning and the night. Okay, so number four. Four. Powerful strength line reducing concentrates. Mm. Apply morning and night before your moisturizer. So it has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Good for anti-aging. It's 12.5% vitamin C. Interesting. I know. I'm, I'm definitely excited. Gonna use this. All right, so number five is today. I found it. Ah! It took me a second. Ooh, I've never tried one of their toners. This is the Ultra Facial Toner. After cleansing, moisten a cotton pad with the toner and apply to face. It's milky though, it looks nice. Yeah, you can definitely tell. It's like not your average yeah. toner, it's a little milky. It's not like 
clear. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. So I need something to hold me over before dinner because we're going at 6.30. We're going to go to Grow Fire. But I wanted to show you the <laughs> wine glass that I got at the thrift shop yesterday. It says, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if the white runs out, I'll drink the red. Come on, that is just golden. It pretty much describes me. White wine's my thing. But if the white runs out, I'll drink the red. This is true. What is it with winter and sunsets? Like, are we kidding? That is so pretty. Just finished editing a new intro. Very exciting, I hope you liked it. Um, and now we are going to dinner. <laughs> where we were opening our advent calendars. I had just washed my face, so I decided to try the products because we got a toner, serum, and moisturizer. Um, and I just tried them all out because I had put the moisturizer on earlier today and it was really nice. It left my skin super soft. But I figured if I had a clean face, just try them all at once. And I have nothing but good things to say so far. I mean, that's sort of always how it is with Kiehl's though. I have never tried a Kiehl's product that I haven't liked. My skin always reacts really well to Kiehl's products. But I will give an update in the morning. I just love this advent calendar. I mean, come on. It's the perfect way to try new products. Make sure you like them before you buy the big size. Now we're still early in Vlogmas. If you want an advent calendar or if you just want to try some Kiehl's products, go get this while you can. It is such a treat. So if you want to treat yourself, I say go for it. I'm gonna call it a night on Vlogmas Day 5. If you're watching this, thank you so much. Please feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, this week is going to be really exciting. We have a big week planned. On Wednesday, my mom and sister and I are going to the Nutcracker, which I'm pretty stoked for. It's the ballet in the city. Um, it was something we always used to do when we were kids. We're going to the city this weekend as well. We're gonna be spending the weekend there because that is a tradition that we have also in our family. Which is so exciting because we go do things like see the tree, we go ice skating in Central Park, we're gonna go to a holiday market, we're seeing a Broadway show. So, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned because it's coming up. Lots more content is coming up. Vlogmas was sort of just my way to get the ball rolling. Um, I was always looking for a reason to post. Not that you really need a reason, like if you want to post, do it, which is sort of what I'm trying to do. But there was multiple times where I would think I was ready and then it just ended up not being the time. But I felt like it has led me to this moment. So I'm very thankful for everything, really. And I'm really excited to be doing this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. There's more where this came from. If you haven't already checked out my first Vlogmas videos, the link will be somewhere on the screen um, to the playlist. So feel free to check those out. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning for Vlogmas day six. This is really helping me keep track of time. Normally I don't know what day it is. So happy Sunday. Happy, well, probably won't be Sunday when you're watching this. Yeah, that's it. I'm. I'm I'm a lot of words. I got nothing left to say. So that's enough for me. I will see you in the morning. Merry Vlogmas.